Hello everyone and welcome back to the Kanasobi channel. In the world of aviation, of course, takeoff and landing are very crucial and decisive processes. If we generally see this process on airport runways, how about if the process is carried out on an aircraft carrier, which of course has limitations in the length of the runway? Let's see the following video. Landing on the deck of an aircraft carrier is one of the most difficult things for a naval pilot. The flight deck is only about 500 feet, or less than 150 meters, long, which is barely enough for a jet plane to fly at high speed on landing. In order to land on the flight deck, each aircraft must be able to hook the hook on the rope. This hook or hook is attached to the tail of the plane. The pilot must be able to hook on any of the four wires made of woven high tensile steel wire. Cable catches that run across the deck and are attached to both ends are in hydraulic cylinders below deck. By hooking it to the wire, the 54,000 pound plane can travel 150 miles per hour in just two seconds. There are four cables spaced approximately 50 feet, 15 meters, between cables, to give the pilot more room. Pilots will usually take the number 3 wire, as it is the safest and most effective target. They almost never took the first wire because it was so close to the edge of the deck. If they came too low on the first cable, they could easily fall into the stern of the ship. To perform this incredible trick, the pilot needs to approach the deck at a right angle. The landing procedure begins when the aircraft returns to a large oval flight pattern close to the carrier. The Carrier Air Traffic Control Center below decides the landing sequence of aircraft based on their fuel level inventory. The one with the least amount of fuel comes first. Landing Officer LSO, signals help guide the aircraft via radio communications and deck lights. In addition to the LSO, the pilot looks to the Fresnel Lens Optical Landing System. Commonly referred to as a landing guidance lens. The lens consists of a series of lights and Fresnel lenses mounted to a gyroscopically stabilized platform. The lens focuses light into a narrow beam that is directed up at the sky at various angles. The pilot will see different lights depending on the angle the aircraft is approaching. If the plane is on target, the pilot will see a yellow light, nicknamed the meatball in line with a row of green lights. If a yellow light appears above a green light, the aircraft is coming at too high. If an amber light appears below a green light, the aircraft is coming too low. If the plane comes too low, the pilot will see a red light. As soon as the plane touches the deck, the pilot will push the engines at full power instead of slowing down. This may seem counterintuitive to stop the plane, but if the landing hook does not catch one of the catch cables, the aircraft must move fast enough to take off again and the pilot must not be too late to add power so that when it hits the deck it is pushed to full force. The landing strip is tilted at an angle of 14 degrees. So the landing and takeoff places are not the same place. As soon as the plane stopped, he was immediately pulled off the runway and tied to the side of the flight deck. The crew on deck must be prepared for a variety of unforeseen events, including aircraft fires. When taking off or recovering operations, 
they have a lot of safety equipment. Among other things, the flight deck has a small fire truck and nozzles leading to tanks of water and aqueous film forming foam, an advanced materials fire extinguisher. There are also nozzles for jet fuel and a number of other liquids. Deck flight personnel also face the risk of being blown up by a jet engine and thrown into the sea. Safety netting around the sides of the flight deck offers some protection, but for added security, personnel are also provided with float coats or life jackets. That's the end of this video I hope you enjoyed. It makes sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.